Hello, beautiful souls. That's how deep this thing is. Okay. Very, very deep. And they're trying very, very hard, you know. So I feel like they may be at this place where they're realizing I kind of feel like, um, like a deep sigh, okay. Well, your person could just be trying to figure out a way to better address how they're feeling right now. Because yeah, they're very, very all over the place. And this is mainly because they've come face to face with one of their biggest fears, and that is feeling so far away from you, but also knowing that you are so close. And that's the painful part. That's one of the most painful aspects of this connection, feeling so far away from your person, but also knowing that you can just pick up the phone and call them. But there's something there, maybe divine timing, maybe energy is not right, maybe they have something going on, maybe you have something going on, you know. That makes it so painful to feel like, wow, my person is on the other end of a phone call and I can't pick up the phone and call them, you know. That's their biggest fear. And upon coming in contact with you, your person knew that they were not going to be able to handle these types of emotions because they feel the effects of your love, divine feminine. They've never felt a love this deep before. They've never had someone, you know, stop them in their tracks. It's almost as if when the distance started, when the distance started, or when the no contact started, it's like your person felt like something stopped. It's like they stopped dead in their tracks and they're trying to figure out how to navigate this space right now. But they're realizing that they don't want to feel this way anymore. They don't want to assume this kind of resistant position because it doesn't help them. It actually makes them feel worse and they're exerting more energy trying to forget you than it is to just drop down into their heart space and feel what it is that they're feeling. Okay, or to simply reach out to you and express this. But there's a little fear around that. They're wondering if you were even, you know, open to this. Has too much time gone by? Do you still love them? These are questions that the masculine energy, you know, thinks of and asks themselves as well. So, divine feminine, I know that you feel a lot of, you know, intense emotions as it pertains to this connection, but your person shares this with you. That's a commonality that you share in this connection. No one is exempt from feeling the highs and lows, whether you are the awakened twin, whether you are unawakened runner, chaser, however you identify. No one is exempt from feeling okay. And that's the thing, when you come in contact with your person, they turn something on in you that never turns off okay. And this is just giving you a look into that process, a look into how your masculine processes these types of emotions. They would do anything in their power to not feel this because of how painful it is. Okay, let's get the next message here. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. 